Okay, buddy. Let's go for a walk, huh? <laughs> hey guys, so this is Baton. We are going for a walk to Baton's favorite tree, which we do every day. At the moment, it's just me and him. Being this close to an alpha male howler monkey um, out in the jungle without a single cage bar or fence line in sight is something incredibly special. It's amazing to watch him do whatever he wants in the wild where he belongs. But the reason that we can interact with Baton and approach him so closely is actually a really sad story. Baton is a victim of Bolivia's illegal wildlife trade and was probably taken from the wild at a young age to be someone's pet. We don't know too much about his history. He was abandoned at Sui's door in Ambuari, uh, malnourished, sick, and missing much of his fur. Most likely, his previous owners realized that they couldn't care for him or couldn't handle his aggression. He was probably about four years old at the time and was already very heavily humanized. Probably as a result of spending so much time around people, um, he had trouble integrating with other captive howler monkeys. He tended to be very aggressive with them. Um, he bit them and caused pretty serious injuries to the other rescued howlers here, so the decision was made to keep him separate, whereas howler monkeys usually live in social groups. He has a number of unnatural behaviours, possibly also as a result of his time with people. Stuff like walking on the ground or drinking from a water bottle as opposed to a lake or a river. He's very friendly with people, so we can do some pretty amazing stuff with Baton that we wouldn't usually be able to do with these animals. Obviously, him sitting on my shoulder with his tail curled around my neck is probably one of the most unnatural things that you can think of with a howler monkey. Because Baton is on his own, and because he was already fairly old and heavily humanized by the time he came to Amburari, his chances of successful release back into the wild are unfortunately very slim. There was a point when Baton was hanging around with a couple of female howler monkeys and it looked like he was doing fairly well. Uh, he was out of human contact for about a week, but he turned back up at camp badly beaten up by a rival male. Here at Ambuari we tried to give Baton the best life possible. Every day a team of trained monkey volunteers is in charge of looking after him. We make sure he's adequately fed, given dietary supplements, I bring in fresh green branches every few days from the jungle that would usually be Baton's natural habitat in the wild. And every day we take Baton for a walk. It's my job to do this in the afternoons. We can never give Baton back his wildness, but you can make sure this doesn't happen again. Refuse to participate in the illegal trade in wildlife and exotic pets. Stop funding a criminal system that takes animals like Baton from the wild, where they should be. You do not want a pet monkey.